podcast. What's up guys, my name is Anuvik, and I'm here with some Rift content today. This is the Realm of the Fae, or however you say that. It is the first dungeon in Rift, and this is going to be a boss guide, so yeah. Now this is the first boss. Uh, mind you, all these bosses, very simple mechanics, not a lot to learn, just basic, killing them. Some have strategy, like this one. Now here, what we have to do, which we did not do the first time, this is all our first time coming through here, is you must kill those two, those things I'm targeting now, before I died. Kill those two things. Because the boss is invincible. When those things go down, you can damage her, you just do that till she dies. Basically all it is. And soon you'll see what happens if you don't. Basically that there. Three people have died. Two are running. Oh, yeah, I think two are running, I'm not sure. But basically this is a wipe. Uh if you do not attack those other guys, and you try keeping aggro on the boss, you will die. So, here's our retry. Basically, what we seem to do, boss stays on the tank, on the, sorry, the tank stays on the boss. All DPS focus on, well, we did the left first, but basically focus on one of the mobs, and then move over to the other one, and then just everyone on to the boss when the other two go down. Healer, just heal whoever's weak, but mostly focus on the tank because he's gonna take a lot of damage. That's all you need to know that I can see in this fight. That would actually matter. I'm going to DPS, so maybe there's something to do when you're tanking, but from what I saw, this is it. Oh, one other thing, she does polymorph, so this could be bad if the tank can get polymorphed. Let's see here in a second. I will get polymorph. So I could be bad because I'm uh, get polymorph the tank and healer. That could cause me to die. But uh, basically, all you need to do is just keep guessing everything down and you go. Kind of one fight. We have a 17 rogue, which is me, a 20 warrior, an 18 cleric, a 19 warrior, and a 17 mage, I believe. This dungeon does recommend for all the 17s or higher. And because we're mostly around that area, if we were all level 20, this would be a quicker dungeon. This took us, I think, 45 minutes. But we did die a few times. Yeah, there we go. a polymorph right there. I don't even know what it's called in this game. Is it polymorph or is it something else? But basically, for those of you that play WoW, it's polymorph. And there's some loot you can pause to read the stats. But it'll stay here for a few seconds. Next, I just included this trash pull right here for one reason, and this is where we died a lot. You see that group, right at the top left of the screen, there's that big green thing next to my health plates and stuff. Pull the guys to the left of that area, so not that green guy, but to the left of that green guy, who's hopping right there. Because if you try pulling to the right, the entire room pulls for whatever reason. And we died a few times. So yeah. Here's the second boss. Not a lot. Of, just like I said earlier, not a lot of complexity to the, any bosses in this dungeon. Basically, tank and spank. Uh, dungeon. Or, uh, sorry, boss. And all 
all he does is put a uh, poison like area of effect around. Uh, basically move out of it and you're fine. second isn't too bad and look the boss is dead so that AoE would not have killed me but yeah still want to move out of it there it's looped we'll save it for me now this video clip uh, is kind of a little long so we'll some of the random trash around but this area when you come here you know you know it when you get here in this part of the dungeon there's a lot of trash that you don't need to pull uh, basically, if you see in the top right hand corner of the mini map, there's little red dots. Those are enemies. You can see where we are. We killed over half the room. We don't need to do that. You don't need the whole room. Uh, obviously, there's XP that you want to get. If you want to do the whole room, that's fine. I'm going to try to clear it. Let the word. It just took a while. Uh, you don't need to. You can just go right ahead. But you still. The amount you have to do is still a lot. Yeah, so nothing really new here. This is kind of a little long clip of fighting. I don't know why I don't turn this, but. Here's the final boss here, and as you can see the dramatic change in scenery. Now, I am on full graphics, everything's max, right at 60 frames per second, solid with 60 frames. This is what I can see. So if you're on a low system, you probably can't see much of this area. Or you can see a lot, I don't have a whole word, like how the range works yet. Maybe it's less intense because of less graphics than you've ever seen. This is basically the last boss fight. He spawns waves of enemies, different types. Everything's basically kill everything. There's strategies and different moves, there's something like that that just kill you. Um, these guys, there's a lot of them, but they don't have a lot of health, so I'll kind of just rile them all up. That's kind of the strategy of that fight. They don't even do that much damage. Single target, but I know it's there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Probably there's eight or ten in total. I guess all of them stacked on the tank and the healer. He's struggling. There, if you kind of pause at that time, you can see how big the actual dungeon is. It's pretty big. Anyway, this is I think the last guy you bring in. It's a giant tree guy. The tank is bang. He does an area of oh, that's right, I forgot. He summons these bugs. What you're supposed to do if you do this fight properly is kill the bugs, then go back to the, uh, the tank. Kill the ads and they go back to the boss. And they kill the ads when they pop and go back to the boss. Because the boss, when he dies, the main boss will come out. And the bugs are still alive, that can cause problems. Um, we didn't do that, as you'll see here. It didn't cause a lot of problems. There's only a couple of 
left at the time, I think. But I could see with a less experienced group, if we took Akaki or, well, not actually, maybe not a threat, but what we want to do. Oh, no, there wasn't a bugs, actually. As you see here in the background, you can see the boss coming out, and all these bugs are still alive. So we're trying to burn them down here before we go to the boss. Because, wait, yeah, if you open the tank, he's the dwarf at the bottom. He's taking some good damage, some steady damage from those bugs. Basically does a sweeping attack, that weird green thing. None of us stand, stood in it. I think it does some good damage because our teammates are kind of all at the same amount of health except for one of them. So I think it does maybe a quarter of your health every time you get hit by it. But it's such a slow attack, like it doesn't come very often. It doesn't do enough damage, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll try and avoid it if you can. It just helps them more out. I stood back because I use a bow, so there's no problem. Yeah, there it is again. See, that's the time it takes for that. And yeah. the tank didn't take that much damage from it. And almost dead. And bam, pop. There's the achievement. Realm of the Fey. Ten achievement points. There's the loot, a nice two-hander, which I did win. Although I can't use it. I did win the greed I on it. And I leave you with a cutscene. Now the power belongs to me. None shall stand before my wrath. <laughs> Since you've proven yourself capable of following orders, I'll let you live. Return to Shyla and tell her I have no further use for her now that I have the power of Greenscale. <laughs> <laughs>